Whatever they are, we'll all admit. But who dares call them weak? Our modern girls play as hard and with as much vitality and stamina as any man. How do they do it? Where do they find all that energy, that seemingly inexhaustible store of pep and ginger? What is that whipcord resilience that lets the weaker sex play half the night, then bob up clear-eyed, ready for the next morning's work? This frail creature strikes her typewriter keys about 40,000 times a day spaces 7,000 times, shifts to capitals and returns the carriage more than a thousand times each. Altogether, a few ounces at a time, she exerts more than five tons of pressure on her dainty fingertips in one day's work. And any way you look at it, women's work is not for sissies. Most men would have a hard time of it if they were to change jobs with wife, mother, or girlfriend. The homemaker walks miles every day, from sink to icebox, from cupboard to stove, and from kitchen to dining table. Let's use some very special photography to compress the whole job of preparing a meal into a few seconds of time, to see how many steps it really takes to get dinner on the table. Remember, this is a hurry-up picture of just one meal out of more than a thousand. Is that what you'd call a blitz meal? Even an efficiency expert would be staggered by the amount of chasing around and indoor road work that the little woman takes as a matter of course. There's the stair climbing event, for example, usually accomplished full tilt and with an armload of brooms, mops, blankets, and sundry household paraphernalia. Here's another hurry up picture of the clinging vine whizzing through a day's program that would leave the average mountaineer gasping for breath. Each trip upstairs is the equivalent of lifting her own weight 12 feet. And at the rate of 20 trips a day, that's lifting about 12 tons of weight. Who said weaker sex? Ironing is another kind of work that's a lot of little jobs all rolled into one. Just to iron one of hubby's shirts, for instance, the iron may have to be lifted 20 or 30 times. And since a flat iron weighs about as much as a brick, a day's ironing actually uses just about as much muscle as bricklaying. Flattening a towel or wielding a trowel, even Stephen. Had your iron today, lady? Because men are beginning to realize how much lifting and pushing the little woman has to do around the house, more and more muscle savers are being designed to make the little jobs easier. It's one thing to make 6,000 separate scrubbing motions over a tub of clothes, and quite another to push a button that does all the work. Here's another example of sheer brute force. Now let's make a super scientific test. You'll notice that this girl is wearing a very special thimble. In fact, it isn't a thimble at all, but a gadget of springs and levers to measure the amount of force needed to sew on a button. And it's called an ergometer. According to the ergometer dial, it takes 18 units of force to push the needle through the cloth just once. In sewing stitch by stitch, that work adds up. Any man will admit that's a lot of work when it's called to his attention in the right way. And this is one way of calling it to his attention. This hurry up picture shows that a stitch in time doesn't always save nine. You make me feel very unwifely, McNaughton. Go barbecue. I still say don't serve your awful coffee with my steaks. Oh, Mrs. Olsen, he's always crabbing about my coffee. I could cry. Your coffee, sir. Thanks, beautiful. You're welcome. How can such a pretty wife make such bad coffee? I heard that. Darling, it's our anniversary. Why so glum? Nothing. Well, it's your coffee. Again? Even today? Honey, your coffee just doesn't taste any good. This must have been such a nice vacation. <laughs> Did you ever see Larry looking so happy? Oh, well, honey, happiness is a vacation. <laughs> Away from your coffee. Forget the coffee, Marge. It's never very good. But Phil, I... I'll get some at the plant. 
The raw truth teaches men how to live their best life, understanding their role as a man and enjoying the pleasures of life. You'll also learn how to capture a woman properly. Mr. 1950 is going to help you achieve this goal. What he needs you to understand is you're now fucking with a boss. That means be open to change and be willing to do the work. Men, it's time to be the best man you can be. Oh, and ladies, I did not forget about you. Mr. 1950 will show you how to get out of your own way and find the dream guy you've been looking for. Just be ready to be submissive to this silverback lifestyle. Yo. In this thing. What's happening? What's good, everybody? It's Mr. 19 motherfucking 50. <laughs> hey, so I'm over here. Uh, <clears throat> man, I'm over here looking. I was looking at, you know, just normal YouTube, right? And, uh. You know, I was really just strolling up, and and I was like, man, there there are a lot of bitch ass men out here in this world. There there is a whole lot of bitch ass men. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go all the way in there, but there's a whole lot of bitch ass men in this world, right? And a shout out to the chat. Want to give everybody a a heads up. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you for coming to experience. The 1950 style of doing things, the silverback lifestyle. I appreciate get, appreciate you guys coming in. We got a big topic today. Why do she really need you? This is the real reason, right? You know what's crazy is, is that a lot of you men don't actually hold this of value like that, right? You guys actually don't hold this of value, meaning you guys don't really like hold it to a mental price tag, right? So the reason why she really needs you is for the protection that you have. The protection. Think about it like this, right? There was a time where there were no laws created for women, right? So the laws couldn't protect them to whoever was whoever was doing vicious or dominant things, they can do what they want pretty much whenever they want it because it was animalistic. It was, it, you know, it, was, it wasn't a time for no human being, right? But not just that. There's an understanding. Protection is not just physical. I want you guys to understand that. Protection is not just physical. It is also mental. So the number one person, I always say this, the number one person you have to protect your woman from is who? Think about that. The number one person that you have to protect your woman from is herself. The biggest, toxic, most chaotic person is her frame of thought process. Oh, I can go to Walmart at 2 a.m. Who cares if I have on these tights and halter top? So what? Act like these men haven't seen titties before. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Go ahead and go. Go ahead and go ahead and go. Oh, what do you mean I gotta be home at 1.30? Why you say that? Oh, okay, you know, just showing, you know, a little bit of the data shows that, you know, after 1.30, 2 o'clock, between 2 and 5 in the morning is when most of the crime happened and violence towards women. Oh, but you wouldn't care about that, right? Because you, you can protect yourself. You can protect yourself. Look, we're going to go through some things today. And then we're going to have a call in line. We can definitely talk about this. But what I will say is, first and foremost, I, I do appreciate everybody, and I'm going to say this again. I appreciate everybody that that logged into the show. Um, just know, man, like you know, we we. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm, I'm going to say this again. You know, I I do this for a lot of reasons. One of the reasons I do this for is for people to understand that hey. You know, there are, there are real men exist out here. You know, there, there are real men that, that, that actually 
care about other men and actually care about the culture of men, actually care about the brand of men. Oh, there's, there's real men out here. There's actual men out here that actually know what they're talking about and, and, and actually know what the hell is going on in this world. We, we, we know, right? We already know. We, we understand the motions of what the hell is going on, right? So I, I, I want to say this. I'm going to go through some things right now. Uh, shout out to my boy Steve. I see my boy Steve in the chat. Um, you know, shout out to my uh, shout out to King. Hey, King Ken, what's happening? Happy Latina, what's happening? Uh, look, 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 look. I see you, Santana. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Perez. All right, I don't know what GT Extra means. Uh, you know what I mean? John Taylor. Uh, what's going on? Um, he says, uh, Doctor Frost, Doctor Frizzy Frost. Okay. All right. I don't know what that means, but uh, hopefully is uh hope that Fizzy Frost is manly. Um, all right, we got Peach Rose. Appreciate you coming in. Um, hey, everybody, get the likes up. We about to get this thing going. We about to get this thing rocking. My style. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give the ladies some uh, some understanding here. <laughs> I'm about to really give you some understanding. You you about to really feel this today. You know, I, I, I want you guys to see the type of protection that men on a daily basis, on a regular daily basis, we as men need to make sure that they understand why they fix our plates. They come in this house, they cooking and cleaning. They do that for, for what? You think they just do that just to, eh, Oh, I want you guys to understand why, right? Understand they have their duty, we have ours, but there is one thing that they're unwilling to do. There's no woman going to protect you. Now, if she had means to, she had a gun, something went on, pop bow, bow, you know, something easy, you know, but putting the hands on somebody, pop, pop. None of that's happening from a woman. And I, and I ain't going to, I don't want to even see that, right? I, it's disgusting. It's quite disgusting. You know, but at the end of the day, for all you men complaining about why she's not making my plate or why she's not cooking and, you know, why she's not listening, why she's not, you know, acting like the woman like she's supposed to, why do you think that is? A lot has to do with the type of man you are. Do you love yourself? Or do you love yourself? These are things I'm talking about. Is it, is, are you a great leader? Are you any of those fucking things? All right? I got a show coming out on, on Sunday. This is, it's about to go crazy. I'm telling you right now, it's about to go crazy. And I, I'm going to tell you why men, it's hard for, for it's, it's, it's called reasons why, why women overlook men. That one's live. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's about to go ape shit. It's about to go ape shit. And, I, and I'm going to tell you all that right now from the beginning. So tune in. Make sure you tune in on Sunday. It's after the real game, no theory. I'm going to go ahead and put that one out there. It's going to be live. We're going to get that one rocking and rolling. But I just want to let you guys know. Make sure she's cooking and cleaning and making that plate. I want you to take a look at this. Look, at, I want you to take a look at this and tell me what women do this. Shade better in one. And I'm Bill Ritter. We're going to begin with that terrifying video from the Bronx. A woman arriving home from a day at work early in the morning. Oh! Look at this. Followed by a stranger into her building. She gets inside and slams the door just in time. It mm. happened about two weeks ago in the Concourse Village section of the Bronx. The NYPD tried to find this guy. I would reporter Naveen Dalawal speaking exclusively with a victim today. Naveen yep. is live at the scene for us. Naveen. Yeah, Bill, this video is creepy for anyone coming home, whether it's day or night. But this woman. I'm just telling you, uh, th women. This is what women deal with. Creepy losers. Creepy motherfucking losers. This is what they deal with on a regular basis. This is why I encourage women to get married early. For this type of protection. I would have came out that door. First of all, she would have probably been on the phone. This dude following me, blah, 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 blah. I would have came out that door and it would have been the end of his life. Oh, I'd have probably met him at the at the end of the hall. We we you you getting this? Check this out, bitch ass. Look at him. She knew something 
was up as she approached her building at two in the morning. She saw the guy from the corner of her eye, but she was not expecting him to come into the building and then try to barge into her apartment. The video is terrifying. Hey, yo, it was just a matter of seconds. He was literally like one second from going inside. Today, this brave woman, still shaking, mm. finding the courage to speak out about that day as she arrived home from work around. It's crazy. There was two guys in the two guys like outside, right? And they were just like looking suspicious. You see her walking into the building, cautiously eyeing a man on the side. Seconds later, that same man in the white tank top walks into the Sherman Avenue building behind her. She knew he was up to no good. Miss, miss. He, he followed me inside the building and he said miss, miss twice. She describes the horrifying moment seen in this video as it's a ridiculous accesses the lobby. Look what these women got to go through. He, he was around the Get you a husband. Tried to open her apartment lock. Get you a protector. Spot on. Hey, yo, miss. He came right after her, determined to get inside. Puppy, open up the door. I Open up the door. And then right away, I just screamed, somebody's following me. Like, he was literally one second from coming inside. As she watches this video, she knows she was very lucky. I feel very scared. Like, I was, I was, I was saying, what if? What if I had the top door locked? What if? Like, it was literally just one second. If I had the top lock, I could, he could have got of me. Yeah, what if? Well, she is truly lucky and she's fucked has up. Been living here for 29 years and she says she's never seen this guy before. She does not know why she was targeted, but tonight her red flags. This is what I'm talking about. Bitch ass this. But for all you women, you out there, I don't need no man. I don't need no man. That's going to be the thing today. Oh, you fucking need us. Oh, when it's time. Oh, when it's time, you need us. When it's time, you fucking need us, right? But right now, what you guys seeing is a motherfucker was about to take it. You fucking bitch ass weak man. He needs to be in the pen. He needs to be purged. That motherfucker needs to be purged. You know, there's no excuse for that. But for you women, you need to be protected. You need to be covered. And this is why, this is why I always tell you, bitch ass men, too. Don't be no bitch ass man. Soft. Oh, let's we can talk it out. I'm gonna go talk to this man. No, sometimes you need to be violent. You need to move strong. You need to fuck somebody. Somebody need to get their motherfucking ass whooped. Don't be moving out here like no little bitch. This is why they don't respect you. Man up. Man up. Shit, we out here. The real ones is out here. This is what we out here to do. Take a look at this. Hold on, let me see. Hold on one second. Let me get this. Let me get this one going. Hold on. Take a look at this. Take a I look at this. People were astonished at your courage, your bravery, your strength. You, the adrenaline that must have been pumping through your body. I mean, this could have been very different. What went through your mind as soon as you saw the, you heard the dogs and you saw the first person come in? That how, you know, I was shocked, taken back, and I just went straight forward because I knew Charlotte was upstairs. So the instinct just kicked in to protect my wife, really. And you started throwing punches at one guy. Protect my wife. Did you at that point think, oh, here we go, or did you just... Plow on, no, not just, really thinking. Just plow on. Just um, I just flew into the second person because I knew Charlotte's upstairs. If there was going to get past me, there was going to get to my wife. And no, no, now I want you guys to watch this. this is, I want you guys to watch this, right? I want you guys to. I want you guys to sit down. I want you to watch this one. 
Okay. Now this is what I this is this is this is what I'm talking about. This is the protection that's needed. Who's this fucking guy? We don't know who this guy is, but he has fucking guts. He has balls. This motherfucker said, fuck that. You're not coming here. Let me protect my motherfucking woman. Got to get some more better dogs. That's some bitch ass dogs, by the way. Okay. You're going to be have a dog, have a motherfucker help you out. But at the end of the day, this is why women like certain type of fucking men. And you guys walking around tiptoeing with fucking hoochie daddy shorts on and shit. Oh, they, you know, they like this. Fuck that. We men. We motherfucking men. We men out here. That's what we fucking do. We don't play games. We don't do none of this shit. This tiptoeing. Watch this, man, watch this motherfucker right here. He was never going to get through, man. He wasn't fucking playing. Man walks through the door. Uh-oh. I mean, Somebody at, comes at in the door. Point. Oh, you going to have to see me. I'm not asking you why you're here. You walked in my motherfucking house. You about to get this. You about to get it. See me immediately. Well, What's up? Carrying weapons, Look at him. They, Hold on, they got another one. This man is not fucking playing. Look at him. Beat his motherfucking ass. Beat it. Third one. The third one came in the motherfucking door. The third guy came in the door. Do y'all see this fucking shit? Do y'all see this? I didn't know get busy uh, when I get busy yes. with what um, it appeared to be a, a knife if you watch the video uh, so look one of them comes back in he's holding it behind his arm yeah and as he walks back out you could see the, the glimmer of the you know uh, the, the metal the, the metal and uh, a knife do you think uh, the police well, look, had, he handled all three of these motherfuckers driver so get, get busy I was trying to work that out. It's, get it's busy! And you're still piling into them. I mean, look at him! Ten. Get busy! Look at them bitch ass dogs running. If get so busy! As long as my wife's upstairs, there's no one gonna get through me. And, and there's a very, you know, there's a more poignant backstory. I mean, did you fucking see it? Did you fucking see it? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> did you fucking understand what just happened? A man said, oh no, fuck that. Fuck that. I'm I'm protecting my house. I'm protecting my house. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna, there's no fucking way. I'm protecting my house. I'm gonna make sure that I'm that that I'm doing what I need to do in order to protect my family. Somebody 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 tell me somebody tell me different. Somebody fucking tell me different. This is what I'm talking about. I'm not playing these games out here, man. I'm not playing these games out here. Look at this. Them in cuffs. That's right. One of them Look at this. Handcuffs. A Brookhaven homeowner shared the security video showing two armed men casually ripping him off. These motherfuckers is coming to the house. Brookhaven police say not only is he bold enough to casually walk through the victim's apartment, but he's armed. You can see the gun in his right hand to deal with any possible confrontations. The video, though, it's so clear, showing the texture of his hair and distinctive tattoos. Now, normally when burglars break into a home, they're in and out in maybe two to three minutes because they don't want to get caught by the cops. But in this case, there's not only one alleged burglar, but a second guy who walks in. He's got a laptop and some other things, and they don't seem to have a care in the world. It's like, it's like they're shopping or something. They're not worried about police. They don't appear to be worried about the. I mean, these motherfuckers. Next door. These, these motherfuckers is just in this. Look, taking their time. Look, they they are in your house. Do we fucking understand what's going on? They're in your fucking house. And this is why I always tell men. This is what it is. 
And you question why she's supposed to fucking fix your fucking plate? You know, like you had the fucking barbecue and shit and everybody else woman going to fix their plate and your bitch ass is allowing this woman to treat you this way? By the way, coming out soon, it's called Get Her Back in the Kitchen, 101, 101 Recipes to Save Your Marriage and Your Relationship coming out. It's called Miss 1950 Style. Oh, it's coming really, really soon. Work being worked out right now. The cover and all this stuff is coming together. Want to give y'all a heads up. But I want to say it again. Look at this bitch assness. I want you to look at this bitch assness. And I want y'all to just tell me. Just, just tell me what y'all think. What do y'all think about this? Can y'all tell me, can, can y'all tell me about this? Can, can, can one of y'all tell me uh, 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 this man is in this fucking house? Look, just in the fucking house. Now, now what, if, what, if, what if your woman walks in? What if your woman walks in? What if she walks in and all of a sudden, you know, this motherfucker's in the house. This motherfucker right here. What's going to happen then? What's going to be done? What, what's what's going to be done? That's all I'm saying. Look, that's all I'm saying. Y'all, y'all, y'all got to... You, you, we gotta we gotta do better, right? We, we we gotta fucking do better. Look at this. Look at this. Watch this. Look at this. Let me let me push play on this. This motherfucker is chilling. Him and his boys. Out maybe two to three minutes because they don't want to get caught by the cops. Fix my motherfucking plate. I'm ready to die for the family. You gotta remember, men die for their family. Women die for their kids. Ain't no woman dying for you. Ain't no woman dying for you. That's fucking valuable. That's fucking valuable. Understand that. No fucking woman dying for you, you bitch ass. It's one, I, I, I'm going to tell you right now, this, there's things that I can deal with and there's things I can. One of them is it's being a bitch. Not speaking your mind. Why did why do women treat me like this? Well, you get treated that way because you're a fucking bitch. Look, seem to have a look. In the world. You know what I got in my motherfucking drawers and shit? I got valuable motherfucking shit. Motherfuckers just in here. Look at this shit right here. Watch this. Suspect is here at the lower Buckeye. Now, 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 I want y'all to really watch this one. This motherfucker without hands just got guts tonight and according to court documents he admitted to police that he couldn't control his sexual desires and that's why he a tried creep can control his sexual desires tonight that he heard his wife screaming and he didn't have much time to think about what to do next <laughs> battered and bruised in the family living room leobardo salas didn't stand a chance going up against this homeowner who says, I don't know what gave me such strength because this man was so big and strong and I'm just a little guy. Felipe Reyes said he was working in his garage with the door shut when Solace, seen on surveillance. Look at this bitch ass creep. And you women, you don't need us. Ain't that what you, ain't that what you women said? I don't need a man until you fucking need us. Until they fucking need us. Look at this shit. Here, snuck inside the house where Reyes' wife was giving their two-year-old son a bath. Reyes said he heard loud screaming and ran inside. When I come in... You know what I'm going to tell you right now? That's not a very manly picked out shirt, there. I'm going to go ahead and point that out. I mean, I know he's a... I know he did his thing here, but, you know, as the man, you know, man code guy right here, um, the pink shirt, yeah. Men should only like one thing pink, and that's they woman. So I'm going to tell you that again. Don't be out here wearing that salmon color pink shit. All right. I see my wife fighting with this man and my son was in the bathtub. According to court documents, Solace touched the woman under her shirt and was trying to unbuckle her pants. Reyes didn't think twice about what to do next. When I went in, I put my arm around the man like this. I pulled mm -hmm. him with everything I had. That's right. I threw him to the floor and I got on top of That's him. That's right. 
and started hitting him. Wapity. After punching Sala several times, Reyes tied up his hands with his belt until police arrived. The fuck I'm talking about? I was just thinking about my wife and my son. To see my son crying like that, I wanted to get this guy out of here. Phoenix police the had fuck I'm talking about. just hours earlier. According to court documents, he went into this church wanting to repent for watching pornography. And when he started acting strangely, the church called police to help make him leave. Reyes said he's just happy he and his family are okay. In this situation, one doesn't think anything. You just think, my wife and my son. I'm not a hero. No. And Salas only lived about a block away from the victim's house. Do we see this? According to the report, he was wanted for breaking into another neighbor's house. This man did that thing. Good morning. Look at this. I want you to see fucking this. And I'm bringing up examples. Because you don't need a fucking man. Women don't need to play their role. But when it's time for shit to happen, oh, let me get in a role. Let me let me find my fucking role I got to play. This fucking man went against a wild fucking animal. Look, let me go help my wife. Put my morning coffee up and shit. My potluck plate and shit. I don't even watch this fucking car. You know what I mean? Hold on. Let me see what the fuck's going on here. Look, like, hold on. What's happening? Oh, let me go over here. Oh, no, fuck you. Oh no, fuck you! Oh God, this motherfucker got the fucking bobcat by his throat! By his fucking throat! This is all I'm saying. Hey, we got some motherfuckers out here. This is called protection. This is protection. This is what's called, I'm the, the man of this motherfucker, and this is one of the reasons why. Just one. This motherfucker got his motherfucking throat. He ain't playing. He not playing. Look at this motherfucker, man. Look, got the fucking bobcat by the motherfucking throat. I'm, I'm laughing. Don't the the real reason I'm laughing is because I just be seeing so many people, man. So many people, like I see so many people just questioning us. And any you know, Chris, I I can't include y'all. I can't include myself with all you bitch ass men. But I, I, it's just the question. The, 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 I mean, I, I don't understand. How, how is it that you're not demanding this type of respect? How is it that you're not demanding this type of respect? How is it that you're not going in the house and saying, you know what? What the fuck is you? What you mean you ain't? What you mean you ain't fixing my plate? What that? Hold on. What 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 are you saying? I don't know about y'all. But like, th this is unacceptable behavior. But you know what? A lot of times, what happens is is that men they get they they allow their men are brought up like bitches a lot of times, and then when they get older, they get reaffirmed with bitchery. If you if you look at if you look at how men move right now in your life, right now how men move right now in your life. If you look on social media, do you see how many people be in the comments that, that allow this bitchery to happen? It's so much bitchery that happens. I mean, how much, how much bitchery needs to happen before we actually say, you know what, this is unacceptable behavior. This is, this is unacceptable behavior. When, when are we going to say that? When are we going to say, you know what, real men stand up. We're not going to allow, we're not allowing this. We're not going to continue to allow men to walk around here tiptoeing and thinking they doing something with their life. We're not, we're not going to allow that. How many times you seen a man back down from a situation, a fight or something? How many times y'all seen that? 
It happens too much. Fucking happens too much. It's too much. And it's allowed. It's allowed. It's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. Watch this. Hold on. Watch this. Watch this. Motherfucker threw the fucking bobcat. I gotta give it up to that kid right there. I don't know if it's a, that kid. I don't know who they are. But the, but, the, but the man is in full pursuit. Shoot that. Get out! Watch out! Watch out! It's a bobcat attacking my wife. A bobcat attacking my wife. Do we understand the significance of that? Do we understand that? We're not fucking playing out here. Shit. Shit piss me off out here, man. Seeing all you bitch ass men cheering this shit, cheering that shit on. A home invasion is the I want you to take a look at this. Now this is the shit. One of them. Dude, look, I, mean, I, I, I was just like, man, I gotta put this together. I gotta put this together. This is this right here is unbelievable stuff really unbelievable stuff y'all give me a quick second real quick second A home invasion is the act of breaching an occupied I want you to take a look. I want you guys to take a look at this. <laughs> I want you guys to feast your eyes on this. We're going to watch this together. To carry and I want you guys to see robbery, rape, or murder. what the fuck there are more than one motherfuckers is happening. In the United States, and it's no surprise homeowners surround their homes with security cameras. It's 4.45 a.m. Almost sun up in Sarasota, Florida. And as these two men lounge in the backyard, the unthinkable happens. Motherfuckers with guns come in. A man chilling with his family. Motherfuckers come in with guns blazing. They out here blazing. <laughs> the fuck you gonna do? What you gonna what you gonna do? Them them guys they be wearing them hoochie daddy shorts and them them man bags and shit. What 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 you gonna do? You know how they be trying to say, oh, all men are uh, you know, they're not like that, that, and that. Yeah, they, yeah they're 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 not. There there are some tough guys out here wearing salmon color shirts right now. They are. It's a small fucking percentage. And again, I want you guys to see motherfucker got a straight gun. Now, I want y'all to watch this motherfucker right here. But this homeowner isn't about to let anyone mess with his home. Or Not mess with my motherfucking house. My wife, kids, and shit. Watch this. Oh, he said, oh, shit. Here go. Let me get this chair. Bye, y'all. The chair didn't work. I got a fucking piece of wood. The Fuck that. Hold it. on. This motherfucker got a gun, though. He's like, oh, shit. I got this motherfucker got a gun. Watch this, though. Meanwhile, a third assailant orders the other man in look, the yard. Look, third assailant. He, and look, this motherfucker got right down. But the motherfucking man in the house? The man in the house? With a gun? This motherfucker comes out with a knife. This, this motherfucker comes outside with motherfuckers with guns with a knife. 
Tell me this motherfucker ain't no motherfucking G. He is a G. He came outside with a knife and they got guns. Tell me he ain't no motherfucking G. Oh, you know what? You know what? Fuck them! Two suspects immediately retreat. Fuck them! Look, they jumping gates! Look at his wife! Where's his wife? Get your motherfucking ass and help out! Bust his ass or go call the police in the corner! This is why all men need safety plans for the family. You gotta have safety plans for the family. There's no such thing as just figuring it out. Have a safety plan for the family. Hey, babe, this is what's gonna happen. A motherfucker come in at any time. If they come in this house, this is what you do. You get the kids. You, you go to this room. Or if you can't go to that room, you get the kids. No matter what, you go get the kids. I will take care of this problem. Your hammer's there. Pistol. Your hammer's there. Mine's is here. I'm going to get this. And if I got to be barehanded, then I'm going to be barehanded. I'm going to tell you all a little bit of something. I got a machete just like this man do right next to my bed. That's quick. In the in the in the gun safe, I got a motherfucker. I got hammers. That's if I got some time. But if not, I'm coming with the machete. If not, I'm gonna be in there with these things. I'm, I'm not, there's no fucking way that I'm allowed to happen. What is this woman doing? Oh my God, what is he doing? This motherfucker is got him. He's telling his son, go do something. the suspect until police arrive and arrest Alan Beltran Vasquez. That's right. Get these bitches. He is charged with armed robbery and sentenced to 20 years. Later, three of his accomplices are found, arrested, and convicted. The fuck I'm talking about. Is at large. Look at I'm talking about. This motherfucker took four men on. They had shotguns and guns. This motherfucker came out with a machete and won the fight. Oh, my God. Just won the motherfucking fight. Look at it. I mean, I don't know if we understand exactly what happened. This motherfucker had a pistol. Meanwhile, a third Guns. Orders the other man in the yard under the Look. This motherfucker said, fuck that. Fuck that. Go get him. I'm going to cut your motherfucking. This is what I'm talking about. Can we give it up to the man? Look, look. I'm going to give it up to that mother. That, that's a cold motherfucker right there. That's a cold motherfucker right there. That's a cold motherfucker. Let me give you another for instance. Now, I want you guys to see this too. Women, you need men. <laughs> you need men. You need motherfucking men. See, you cry wolf. Until it's time for this shit to fucking happen. You cry wolf. Man, get your emergency plan ready. Look at this shit. A woman ringing doorbell after doorbell. Look at this motherfucker. Late at in, late in night, you got a motherfucking woman just ringing the bell. The oh, it looks innocent. In Let me find out what's going on. Subject. Maybe she needs some fucking help. Maybe she need help. I would have came to that motherfucking door and all she would have heard was... The fuck you want in my house at fucking this early in the let me early in the morning. Fuck. In Richmond, our Sofia Ojeda is there live tonight. And Sofia, those neighbors reported Look this strange this. behavior to police, and the sheriff says that is exactly what they should have done. Daniela, exactly what they did to neighbors tell me that they were scared. They were worried when they heard that doorbell go off in the middle of the night here at the lakes of Bella Terra neighborhood. The Fort Bend County Sheriff said everyone should do the same thing. Call 911 right away. Hey, I appreciate all y'all in here. I appreciate you all in here. Yeah, you know I mean, y'all get the likes up for me. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and see this question right here. I got a question already here. All right, it's 1950. It's why, it's why rapid Vegas is generous. 
Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. Unique. Thanks for the question. But I, I, I definitely want men to understand. Women, they need instruction. They need direction. This is a part of your leadership. You need to have some order. Like, if she was mine, if she was under my covering, she would have been running to do what she needed to do. That that's the train. We're doing that. That's the train. You, you hey, go do what I what I'm telling you to do. You know what I mean? You got to give directions to a woman, man. Don't be out here thinking you're not supposed to give directions to a woman. You got to give directions to a fucking woman. Here it is. Here, look at this. Open your doors. It's a startling sound at 1.30 in the morning. Oh, knock it on look. Ringing the bell. 1.30 in the fucking Neighbors morning. say this teenager was caught on camera going from home to home last week ringing doorbells. We blurred her face because of her age. I see her you know, looking around, talking with somebody on her phone. And then uh, after three minutes, she left. Mm -hmm. And then a few minutes later, I saw her running. Neighbors said she was on the phone with someone. On one of the videos, she was, the lady on the phone yep. was saying that it's a gorgeous house. They have gorgeous cars. For yep. anyone to be here at that time, it's, it triggers an alarm that something is not right. Something ain't right. They did not open their doors and called 911 right away. Others tried to help too. She just said she needed a charger. Did she say she needed What the fuck coming in my house talking about she needed a charger? I would have put a cold nozzle to her chin. It would have been a cold nozzle on her chin. Bitch, if you don't get the fuck out my... Bitch, I got a family in here. What the fuck is... And this, this is goes out to all you men with these bitch-ass dogs, too. These little chihuahuas and shit. They can get you a wawaller. Fucking pit bull or something. Some, some, something that can help out. This fuck I'm talking about, you motherfucker with poodles and shit. Uh, she needed a ride somewhere. I didn't open the door just mainly because it could be a criminal scenario. You know, you open the door, somebody rush you. And yeah. that's exactly what uh. Fort Bend County Sheriff uh. Eric Fagan says to be aware of. There are individuals that are out there that are using it as a scam. They go and knock on people's doors, mm -hmm. claiming that they need help just yep. to get access into your home. Yeah. Do not open the door for anyone at that time of night. Now that teen in the video was later found hiding in a vacant home. She was taken into custody and charged with possession of marijuana. Again, she just had some weed. She was something wrong with her though. She was, it was something wrong with her. Stay at home orders have had Now look here. I, I want y'all to see this. This is another one. Okay. <laughs> this is another one. All right. I want you guys to, and, and I'm putting things in perspective for y'all right now. I'm putting things in perspective. All you women out here that say you don't fucking need us. It's 2 in the morning. You going to get that? Oh, it's 1.30 in the morning, huh? Oh, he don't. He just comes home and sits on the couch. and I'm cooking and cleaning. Yeah. Okay. Back on crime in Los Angeles, authorities say major crime has dropped 23% mm -hmm. while in New York City, Overall crime has dropped 33% Look at this. compared to the period before the lockdown. Uh. That doesn't mean the criminals aren't out there. In the case of this home invasion, the culprits were wearing surgical masks. Surgical fucking masks. It's a terrifying home invasion by two bandits wearing... Look at these motherfuckers. Broad daylight. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Broad daylight. Hospital masks. Look at this. When the unsuspecting homeowner answers the door and the bad guys burst in. Oh, motherfuckers just get up in there. Women screaming. Look, grown man, come out there fighting. What the, What is the fuck a fucking woman going to do right there? What the fuck is she going to do? Y'all tell me what the woman going to do right there. What the fuck I'm talking about, men? Have some pride in what the fuck we do. We're protectors. We're providers. Protection is not just physical, though. And I keep telling y'all that. You got to protect your home 
But protection is also making an emergency fucking plan, which is leadership. Have your woman understand what the fuck she's supposed to be doing because I'm about to die tonight. I will serve life in prison protecting my motherfucking home and my family. You think that woman would? You think she would? <laughs> She's not. There's no slight on a woman, though. I'm not doing this to bash women. I'm putting things in perspective for them. And for you bitch-ass men allowing these women to go chaotic in this fucking country. Oh, we are all so fucking equal. Look at this man on the fucking porch. This man is out here on the porch. Why ain't his wife on the porch? Why ain't she out here whooping ass? Because she's not able to fucking do it. This man, look, look, beat this, beat him down. One invader flees. Whooping. Other bandit was shot dead in the street. Look, this guy came with a hammer and killed one of them. This motherfucker, they trying to come in my house. Where I lay my head. They trying to come in my house. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. I'm definitely I'm definitely the the man's man of motherfucking YouTube. You ain't you ain't seen nobody talk like motherfucking this. I'm the bully of this motherfucker. I'm going to tell you right now because I'm trying to make sure y'all men understand what the fuck I'm saying. It's in you. It's in you. You're going to have to channel this motherfucker. A lot of you motherfuckers out here trying to impress the woman. Motherfucker, if you don't get your actions in order, get your motherfucking actions in order. This motherfucker wasn't playing his game. Look, this motherfucker wasn't playing. Look at him. He killed that man out there in self-defense. Self-defense. He killed him in self-defense. I'm going to play one more, and then we're going to open up these, these call lines today. Because I would like to hear from y'all in regards to this. But I'm going to open up these, 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 these call lines in a minute. Actually, the call lines is open, so if you want to get on hold, the best thing you can do is call in right now. Let me give you guys the number. This is the number. Call in 9, 563-999. 3709 that's the call in number but look I'm going to play this last one for you I'm going to play this last one for you and I want y'all to see what the fuck it is right I'm gonna, I want y'all to see this look at this now hold on and I, and I need y'all to understand <laughs> I need y'all to understand what it is <laughs> I need you to really I want you to watch this woman I need you to watch this woman hey call again Hey, the number is a calling line to, to be on hold to start off is 563-999-3709. That's the calling line, right? I'll put it on the screen in a minute. But I want you to see this woman. This is normal. Oh, on the couch, living my best life. I'm, I'm chilling and I'm, I'm going to be out here kicking it. It's no problem in life. Oh, You know, hopefully she made dinner. Hopefully she made some dinner. Hopefully she made some dinner. I appreciate that, Unique. I appreciate that. If you can keep spazzing that out for me so they can see it, that'd be great. Hopefully they can see it. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, my God. This is not a home. Time for lounging, watching a little TV. Look, oh, I'm watching some VH1. I'm watching VH1. It's no problem. Well, it's not a problem at all. Checking My life phone, is all good. You would hope that anyone who comes calling at this hour is family or a friend. Oh. Not this time. Oh. Look at this. Oh, he came up. She's on the couch. Now, I want you guys 
to watch how she protects the home. I'm Caspian Shamel. And I'm Isabel Shamel. And we survived a home invasion. We robbery. survived a home invasion. I just got home from a day and I was pretty tired. I and mean, I was just tired through my phone, halfway watching the documentary. We went out and did one of those escape rooms. So we were pretty tuckered out from that, ready to relax. And then I just hear a loud bang and the door flies open. I've got a couple of roommates that live downstairs. So having people come in and out at all hours of the night isn't super odd, but I kind of noticed him and I did a, a double take. Right, sit down for right now. I just didn't know. What oh, look at here. Look at here. Happening at first, I was just in shock. The intruder ordered. I want you to watch the woman. Then he turns his attention and his shotgun toward Caspian's fiance on the couch. Oh, I want you to watch the woman. I definitely feared for my life whenever of I. Of course, you're gonna fear for your life. That's normal. I've never been in a situation where neither, a neither have I. The gun was pointed at my face, and it was. Well, I've been in some shit. So hold on, but <laughs> hold on. My eyes. Hold on. Oh, look at him! This man walks in. Sees him with a fucking shotgun. The woman didn't move. You think this woman moved? Watch this man. Give me this motherfucker. Give me this motherfucker. Look at, look at the woman. Look at the woman. I just want you to see the fucking woman. I'm over here fighting for the life. I'm over here fighting for the life. Look, I'm getting this motherfucker. Look, I'm out here. Look at this woman. She ain't moved. It's just shotgun bear. He don't give a fuck. Man, fuck him. Hell no. We gonna get a hold of him. Look, she's bigger than him. She's fucking bigger than him. Oh, but it don't, you know, the certain communities. Oh, it don't matter. It don't matter. It fucking matters. Fucking matters. Look. I would say. Caspian knows his fiance. Only certain motherfuckers. She rolls off the couch. Look. He barks. Rolls off the couch. She did nothing. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. She's doing nothing. She's doing nothing. Caspian is actually being dragged down the stairs, still holding that death grip on the shotgun barrel. Hell yeah. The intruder is now on his own version Look, of an escape. She did room. nothing. I immediately, as soon as I felt safe enough, ran and called 911. Oh. This is why I saved this shit for last. This is why I saved this shit for last. This is exactly why I saved this shit for last. <laughs> I want you guys to hear it. Look. Holding that look. grip on the shotgun barrel as the intruder is now on his own version look. of an escape room. She didn't even look downstairs. I'm getting drunk downstairs with a fucking shotgun. She didn't even look downstairs. She didn't even look downstairs. We equal though. We equal. We equal. We equal, huh? Hey, this is what I'm saying, man. I don't mind that she actually did this. But when we scrapping, you got to go call the police. Or you got to stomp his head in. Knock him over something. I, 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 hey, we got to live. But this is wild. I, mean, I don't think y'all understand. I, I don't think y'all understand. I don't think y'all understand.
I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna. T- I'm gonna tell y'all right now that uh, it, it, it's possible, and I'm only saying this is possible that she really didn't. That you know, she didn't understand. She didn't know. You know, there, there's a huge possibility that she didn't know. But what I will tell you is, um, I'm gonna tell you right now. What I'll tell you is that she has a responsibility as a person of interest. She has to go. She has to go help. You got to fucking go help. And I and, and I'm just saying you got to help. And not only you got to help, but you got to we, we got to get you busy. You got to get, get busy. You got to get busy. There's no, there's no excuse. I, and I'm gonna tell you again. There's no excuse. There's no excuse for what happened. But I understand. She is a woman. See, I view them a certain way. I view them a certain way, and that and that and that's why. What I'm saying is, is that when you view them a certain way, then you understand. You understand. We gotta we just gotta do better. That's all I'm saying. We just gotta do better. That's all I'm saying. The number, the call in numbers at the bottom. We're about to get busy in a second. I'm gonna leave that number up. Go ahead and go ahead and call in, man. <laughs> but I I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna finish this video up and then we're gonna get we're gonna go to the lines. I want you guys to see again. From the from the beginning, right here. Look, he's getting the gun. She's doing nothing right now. She should know. I gotta go pounce on his head. I'm gonna go pounce on his head. I, I gotta do something. I'm gonna go pounce on his head. I gotta help out. No, she's doing nothing. Caspian reacts in a flash, grabbing the Look, he he reacts in a flash. Like I wish a motherfucker would come in my motherfucking house. Look at him. Just straight adrenaline. Right. Look at him. Caspian knows We're not playing out here. She rolls but this the woman. And I saved this for last for this reason. I actually yelled for the roommate. <laughs> and that was all I could muster out. Look. Look. Right here. You're dragging me down the stairs. And she ran all the way in the back. Caspian look. Is actually being I want you to listen to what she said. The stairs, still holding that death grip on the shotgun barrel. As the intruder is now on his own version of an escape room. <laughs> I immediately, as soon as I felt safe enough, ran and called. As soon as I felt friend, safe enough, tried to help the best I could. Yeah, help the best I you could. Know. I appreciate that. No. Nothing wrong with being a feminine woman, man. Just help out. But he got a. This home invader. Hold on. I told him wrong house buster. <laughs> he was fully in agreement. As we hit the stairs, it was a change in power for sure. Now I know I, I know a lot of men talk bad about these black women, but I want to say one thing about black women, and it's no sight on any other race. I'm just saying I know those women. I know black women. Out of all the women in this in this in this world, all the women, what woman you think is about to get in here and try to beat your motherfucking ass? You know damn well what women that is. You know what damn well they're gonna try to fuck you up. I know. I, I know a lot of content creators to sit out here and talk about black women all day. Now they do got issues. I ain't gonna. Hey, they got issues. All women got issues. But I see that they're they're really attacking black women. I look, y'all do y'all. I, I'm just saying, there's good and bad to every human being. There's good and bad to every woman. But I will tell you there's good and bad, and I'll tell you one thing. These black women out here, especially the ones I've always dealt with, they're not playing that game. They're going to bust your head wide. They're going to pick some up and going to bust your head wide. As soon as I'm in it, as soon as I'm in it, it's going to to the white me. <laughs> to the white me. <laughs> as it was icy, I to the white motherfucking me, I'm telling you right now. The imminent threat is over. A moment for the couple to relax. Look. Caspian is now armed in self-defense. Look. But that motherfucker got the gun. 
That motherfucker got the gun. This is what I'm talking about. Weapons. But two minutes later, an angry knock at the door and an unbelievable request. I opened the door and he was asking for his shotgun back. And so we told him no, of course. And he tried to force his way back into the house. I'd have shot his motherfucking ass. Finally fled the scene, still without his shotgun, which was loaded but never fired. Caspian turned it over to the police as he relived the sickening events. The police were almost arriving. See sirens coming up, lights flashing around the block, and he started heading back out the door again, and they intercepted him there by his vehicle. So <laughs> when the police showed up, then they wanted me to walk through the situation with them, and I hadn't even really fully processed it yet. I just got incredibly, incredibly adrenaline high. I mean, my whole entire body was shaking. I was sweating. Um, my face was bright red, and so I puked. It kind of all washes over you. I mean, when, when you're in the midst of it, you don't feel any of those things happening. Yeah, you gotta you, you gotta do your thing. You gotta do your thing, man. And and this is what I'm saying. I, I I'm gonna say <laughs> I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna say it one time, man. <laughs> I we gotta do better. We gotta do better. We gotta take it. By the horns as men. We got to take it by the horn. There's no way. There's no way that we can allow this type of behavior to happen. Right? There's no way. I mean, I I, I, I got to say it myself. <laughs> I got to say it myself that, uh, you know, what I am proud of is that there are men, there are a lot of men that are, let me get rid of this real quick. There are a lot of men out there that uh that I will say let me see. There are a lot of men out there that I will say that 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 surprised me. That surprised me. Hey, we got we got a call. We got a we got a call. Let me see what was up. Hey, this is 278. This is 1950. Who am I speaking with? Two seven eight, you're live. Two seven eight going once. Two seven eight going twice. Yeah, well, I don't know what happened there, but but uh, look again. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what people think. And the reason why I say this, I don't know how people can even communicate and get their lips together and say, women don't, we don't, they don't need men. Shocking to me. That shit is shocking. All right, we got a caller here. Who am I speaking with? Caller, you on, you on live? How you doing? I'm, what's going on, man? This is 1950. Who am I speaking with? Yeah, who am I speaking with? This is Kent. What's going on, man? What what are, what, what are your, yeah? What's going on, man? How you doing, man? This is Mr. 1950, man. What's your thoughts on the show, man? Um, excellent, excellent. I wanted to actually recommend something uh, kind of related to that last clip. That last clip that you uh, played when. When uh old girl uh, went and called the police, mm -hmm. uh, it reminds me of this show. It's called Animals on Netflix. And uh, there's this episode, it's called Cat, and they talk about all the different types of big cats, especially lions. Mm. And basically, <clears throat> what, what you see in the episode is the female lions do most of the hunt. They do like 80, 90% of the hunt. And um, you'll see that what happens is they do a lot of the hunt. They bring the food back, and the lions, the, the lions of the pride, which there's only like two or three males, they eat more than 60% of all the food. Mm -hmm. But, and like, it kind of seems like, kind of like, huh, that's, that's a little weird. Why are you eating 
so much. This motherfucker just sitting around. But you learn later on in the episode, <laughs> the reason why they do that is because they got to be so big and so strong. Yeah. But when the other male yeah. lions come, yeah. like when, when the other male lions come, the female lions get the fuck up out of there. They don't shit. They take the babies yeah. and they run. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> and, and also, too, and the male lions. Yeah. The male lions only help out, too. They only help out <laughs> when. The pride really needs food, and, and the women haven't done a good job at uh, hunting. So that that's the only time they really go out. The, other than that, they they will be around, you know, where they where they normally lay at. You know what I mean? So I I, I think that I think that this again, there's a certain level of of control. Um, I'm I'm gonna tell you this. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna tell you this right now, man. I definitely appreciate you supporting the show. Thanks for calling in. You got anything more more to add to the show before I go to my next caller? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. Thank you so much. Hey, man, I appreciate you. What's your name again, bro? Kent. All right, man. Make sure you comment after the show, man. Mike Clark Kent. Did you make sure? Okay. Appreciate you, uh, Kent. Absolutely. Yeah. Make sure you comment after the show. Share my show, man. Hey, it's 1950, man. We we, 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 we moving, man. So I appreciate you, all right? All right. All right, man. Have a good one, brother. All right. Hey. We got another caller here. All right, let's go here. Uh, we got 278. Hello. 278. You're live on the air. Who am I speaking with? Hello. Yeah, can can you you, yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, no, I can hear you. I can you, hear you. Hey, what's good, Mr. 1950? What's going on, brother? How you doing, man? What do you got to add to the show, man? Um, okay, um, this doesn't have anything to do with the show, but okay. I've been wanting to ask you this question. No so, problem. Um, no problem. What is it, brother? So I'm a young guy. So I'm a young guy, you know, 21. I don't have, like, that much experience with women. So I, I knew that that was a mindset problem, right? So I just wanted to ask you, like, as a man, what should a young, what, what should a man mindset be towards women your mindset towards women well i think first i think first we need to attack the real problem the real problem is you the real problem is that you don't have you don't have the love for yourself in order to have a woman have respect for you you don't respect yourself enough the game has nothing to do with women Mm. so what i'm saying to you is is that There's a certain level of understanding who you are as a man. You got to have direction. You got to have principles. You got to have standards. You got to have laws. And you got to live by these. In order order for a woman to be in your space, she has to be comfortable with that. The the, the man in front of him is going to lead her. If not, you're going to get finesse. You're going to get dog walk. How old are you? 21. 21. All right. So you had prime time. I always try to tell men this. Instead of buying Jordans, invest in yourself. Go to the stock market. Invest in your future. Go get some, some put some money in some IRA. Put yeah. some money away. Or you need to get your resources. Get some coaching. You see my website strolling, right? It's Mr1950.com. Okay? I can help you. Yeah. I, I, I help many, many young men. But you have to. To understand that in order to win in life, you have to win inside first. You have to win inside first. True. Okay? So I I can't really break everything down to you. We're live on air. But what I will tell you is I appreciate you at 21 mm-hmm. calling in. And the first step to change is reflection and understanding what you need to do to do better. Got me? I get you. I get you. Okay. Thank you very much, man. All right, no problem, man. You have a good day. Thank you for calling to the show. We got another caller here. We got 984. 984. Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm on. How, how you doing? Who's this? Yeah. Um, this is Pete Rose. Um, I came over from Steve Dean's channel. But, oh, um, okay. All right, well, well welcome. I appreciate you showing. I 
Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, I appreciate you showing a different perspective on why you should cook for a man, clean mm -hmm. for a man, mm -hmm. wash his laundry and all that, because i never seen this side as far as the protector side of what the, the protection that a man can provide for you. And this mm -hmm. is why you should do all these things, like take off take off the excess weight off of him, make his life easier yeah. i can see why now yeah and, I, and, and i'm glad but, you called uh, it I, is, yeah i i i, I, I want to answer i'm going to talk to you really quick about what you just said and then i get your question okay so what what i want to say to you is is that i first and foremost it takes guts to call in all right i appreciate you calling in but what i will say is is that a lot of men don't understand this themselves so you're calling in and you didn't understand it but a lot of men don't understand this see a man is supposed to die for himself, his his family first. He's supposed to lay down his life. Our life is on the line at all times. We don't know when something's going to jump off, but you got to be ready for it, and you got to and you got to have a, a peace in your life because tomorrow it may be your last day. Tonight may be your last day. You get what I'm saying? Like you have to understand as women. You gotta understand as women, the man that you with is gonna protect the offspring and you guys are created. That's his job. He has to pro protect, provide, he has to mentor, he has to be a guidance. So I really appreciate you calling and I really appreciate you bringing that up. So what's your question? Oh, uh, yeah, what you said just leads me to my next question. How can I choose a man? Well, what indicator that I would know that a man is like, about that life that won't just leave me high and dry as soon as something pop off. Well, I will tell you, it's not what you think it is. It's not you seeing guys sagging and being in the hood and, you know, talking aggressive and that's not it. A man who has sound principles and a plan. If a man can't tell you an emergency plan for a house, he's not ready to have a woman in his house. If a man can't sit you down and say, okay, look here. In the public, if we ever get into a situation, I'm going to take over the situation. You need to get to the car. You need to call the police. You need to keep your ass in the car. Duck down. Don't worry about me. That's a plan, right? The same goes for a house. Like if, if a man can't sit you down and give you a plan for what's going on in the house, and I know you're like, ain't no man going to have. No, they do. The real ones do. And if they don't, you got to question, like, what are your, what are you, I mean, what are we here for? Like, what's your purpose? What is, what role are you playing in my life? Like, if you're not here to lead me, if you're not here to guide the situation, if you're not here to teach me something, like, do you really want to be with a man like that? And this is why we always say, there's, there's a small percentage of us. There's a small percentage of real men out there. So, unfortunately, you're going to deal with a lot of, bs but when you're in the presence of that real man trust me he's gonna tap you on the shoulder and you gonna know i can't tell you like a telltale sign because that's kind of like when men call in and ask what can i say to a you know a woman to, you know to, you know find you know to get her number or to leave my number what can i because all women are different so being yourself and talking to a woman you just need to be yourself and you'll never have to worry about what you need to say to her so it's kind of like that in a sense, you know what I mean? Like if I tell you one thing, all men are different. But one thing I will say is the plan needs to be there. The plan needs to have. If there's no plan, I'm going to tell you right now. If there ain't no plan, it, it it's, it's, it's a cause for concern. You sound like a, a woman that, that's ready to do what you're supposed to do. But there's a cause for concern. If you with somebody now, if he doesn't have one, you need to tell him to get one. Or you need to help him with it. No, I'm not with anybody now. But when you brought up that concept, when that lady was frantic, she didn't know what to do, and he was like, uh, you need to be with a man. A man already supposed to have an emergency plan at the place. That struck a chord within me because I was like, whoa, nobody never stopped me down and told me what to do and just in case the situation arises. So I'm like, that's, yeah. that's, that's real good. Yeah, and I appreciate that. I I I, I try to uh, what I try to do is bring out what people take for granted, and and I think men take the protection part for granted. A lot of these dudes are soft though; like they're not really they're not built for this. 
unfortunately, they're not really built for this. It's, there's a certain level of men. And, you know, you've heard it before. You say alpha men and all that. That's, that's real life. <laughs> like that's, that's real life. But there's a certain level of gentleness that he needs to have with his lady, too. Like, we're not animalistic with the woman and shit. You know what I mean? There's a certain level of, uh, of gentle nature. As long as she's doing what she's supposed to do and acting right, you, you, you show her the world. You show her the entire world. If this woman is on your program, she's acting right. You know, like my whole thing is the number one thing is for a man. I always try to tell my clients, you treat women how you want to be treated. So you're kind to them. Like you, you, the way you communicate with them, you know, of course, you got the little smooth way to communicate. But the best thing for you to do with, with women, too, is you don't never want to lose your composure. That's being emotional. So you, you always stay calm. You don't need to yell. You communicate right. Right? Don't use language towards her. I don't I got cuss on here because it's you know it's a freelance thing. But in, in, in person, that ain't how I move. Like I ain't moving like that. I I want to set the example in the stage for how we talk and how we communicate with each other, right? So already you gotta know as a man, that's a plan. This man got a plan. He he has an understanding on how he wants things to be ran. Right? And then I'll go into how you're supposed to act yeah. when we're around each other we got to communicate that like hey like when you're around each other i don't like you using these words i don't like you i don't like when you you know make these kind of gestures sometimes women naturally make gestures that they used to do with their ex like oh, you know all this old and they don't know no no need to get mad at them teach them you see this is what the problem is with men, so men if, go ahead um oh. So if a guy doesn't protect you in the little things or teach you in the little things, that means he doesn't really care for you in that way or see you in that way as something he should protect? Well, I'm not saying he doesn't care for you. I'm just saying he's not prepared. So being prepared, most men are not prepared for a serious relationship. They're not. They're not prepared to really protect a woman. You know, men, men, there are certain, le there's levels to men, right? And unfortunately, just like, you know, you know, single moms, they struggle. They struggle with boys, and this is where we're talking about making a men, right? Like, it's, it's very difficult to have this transferable information. Like, this is why I'm on YouTube. I come on YouTube to make sure that we are teaching men how to be men. And I want women to hear me, just like you're on here, to hear me speak about how men are supposed to treat their women, how men are supposed to be when they're in relationship with women. This is this is this is exactly what I mean. And this is why I'm in this space. Like I, I go absolute ape shit. Like you, you you see it? Like this is but this is this is who I am. Like I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a like when when with any woman I've ever been with, I've always had a smooth tongue. But, like, I understand a lot of these women have not been taught by men. Like, the past relationship they've probably been in has been shitty because a lot of these men ain't shit. So I'm not prepared. No, I'm not prepared. What I'm saying is most men are not prepared for women to come in their life and they have to actually teach. Like, I'm a teacher. I'm going to come in. I'm going to teach you how to get out. I'm going to teach you some of this game. We're both going to be happy in life. We're going to share moments and experiences. But we're also going to understand what we got planning or we're building. We're trying to, you know, put this money away for this. This is how I want you to do things. This is how I want the household. I'm going to take care of the outside stuff. This is what we're going to do. You see, most men talk to women and they wait for instructions. Everything is asked. Yeah, that's true. And that's a problem. So my grandma used to tell me because my grandfather died many, many years ago. But she still spoke of him. When he was gone, and he's just, she used to say things like, you, "You know, you know, your grandfather wouldn't appreciate that. He, he he's gone for ten years. She's still saying that. Like that's the impact that he had of a man giving this woman directions for so many years. She didn't forget that. She's a she's a chin check us." And this is the strength that she had because the transfer of information. She walked in the image of him. 
That's how strong this shit is. Mm-hmm. And people don't understand that. And I, I know I'm getting talking lengthy, but I just wanted to make sure that I'm making this point out to everybody. This video is for people to understand their positions. We have obligation. We have an obligation to protect our homes, our family, our wife, our kids. And, and women have an obligation to be a help to that. A help to that. So I really appreciate you calling in. You got any more questions for me before we go? Um, not right now, but I'm sure to ask him in the chat. So I appreciate you, Mr. 1950. And, nah. um, what was your name again? I'm sorry. And listening in the chat. <laughs> what was your name again? I'm uh, sorry. Pete Rose. Okay, got you. I well, appreciate it. Yeah, I see you in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do appreciate you. I, thank you for calling All right. in. Have a good day. All right. Call lines is open. Go ahead and give me a call. 563 999 3709. Thank you for the calls, ladies. So let me let me say this too. I, I want to go ahead and say this. I think I think I think a lot of us really forget. We really forget the strength of a man because we never really experience that. You know what I mean? We, we never really experience that. We never really, we never really experienced the strength of the man when it comes to his presence. There's so much gain to life. There's so many men out there that are clueless, that have no idea. They walk around and they just follow the norm. Oh, wow, this Drake album is great. I'm going to go listen to this Drake album. Oh, they got Jordans out. I'm going to go buy me some Jordans. Oh, I heard this movie's good. I'm going to go see that. That's fine. You got hobbies. You can do things. But it comes to a point as a man, too, Kind of, kind of move for yourself. You got to move for yourself. A lot of you men are not moving for yourself. And it's hard to watch. It's hard to watch. See, a lot of these women out here suffering. <laughs> Again, I got a great show coming up on Sunday. Five reasons why they overlook you, men. And I actually did my own survey. A hundred women. I asked a hundred women. They're like, man, 50, please. You a hundred women I ask. And they all came up, and I'm going to go to the highest percentages. And then I'm going to have my five. But I will tell you, I feel bad for a lot of these women. It's a lot of you bitches out here. A lot of you bitch ass me. <laughs> a lot of you they got to deal with. And I'm telling you, I'm here to help. I'm here to help. I'm going to tell you again, man. Some of these videos I played, a lot of this was, a lot of these videos I played was to get a reaction from you. To have you understand how important it is for you to be a man with a plan. To be a man with a plan is very important. You got kids, you got kids watching, friends, relatives. They all watching. You 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 gotta perform. I always say enjoy life, especially men. Enjoy life because you don't know you you just don't know what's next. You 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 don't know what's next. You gotta enjoy life. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna tell you every day, gentlemen. If you don't enjoy life, hey, I'm, there's nothing you there's nothing in the world that you're gonna be able to do right. If you don't enjoy life, you're gonna be one sad mf. Enjoy your life. We got a caller here. Six five zero. 
Six five zero, you live. You live. Six five zero. This is fifty. Hi, can you hear me? I can hear you. Who am I speaking with? Um, I, this is Carmen. Carmen, how you doing, Carmen? Yeah, I'm in your chat. My my name in your chat is uh, Musings of an American Mutt. Got it. Got it. I appreciate I appreciate you calling in today. Yeah. What What do you have to add to the show? Yeah, I just wanted I just wanted to add, like when you're talking about directing and teaching, like because for me that was such a pivotal point of enlightenment. Like I made so many mistakes when I was younger, attaching to certain kinds of men because I didn't understand that that's what I wanted and was looking for. Like, and I had my dad, like my dad taught me a lot of things, yeah. you know, about life and all kinds of things. But I think one, one part that sort of was a misstep, not necessarily in what he did, but where there was a disconnect was because he taught me to sort of fear so much of my like devotion and work ethic and all these things, like just to a job. Mm-hmm. and to the outer world and not necessarily the man. And so then when I started interacting with men, I didn't realize that what mm-hmm. I wanted was that direction and the teaching. So I didn't even look for men that could offer me that. You know what I'm saying? So I, mm-hmm. I ended up with men that could teach me shit, couldn't direct me in any kind of way. You know what I mean? Because I didn't yeah. even realize. Because I still have my dad, too. You know, mm-hmm. I had my dad. So in my internal, like, mechanism, I still was looking to my dad for direction, to my dad for teaching. You know, I didn't realize that that was supposed to transfer. Yeah. So after making a lot of mistakes, like, that's what I realized so much more deeply now. And that's why I wanted to call in and just kind of add to that point. Like, you know, especially when, you know, Pete, my girl Pete just calling in and asking those questions. Like, not that I know everything now, but for me, that was a huge turning point in my understanding of how to assess men mm. and, like, what they can offer me and who I'm best suited for based on what I can offer them was are they a teacher kind of man? Do they have discipline? discipline. You know what I mean? Like those yeah. aren't even things I really recognize to consider when I was younger. It was yeah. all about like personality and all that type well, of shit that is irrelevant. Yeah. But I didn't realize that. So I made a lot of mistakes. So the reason the reason why though, let me let me and, and thank you for calling in by the way. But the reason why the reason why that you're this way is because most fathers teach their young women how to be treated, but they don't treat, they don't teach their, they don't teach their daughters how to treat men. Right? So what happens is if you are teaching a daughter how to treat a man, then what, what that triggers in your mind is, hold on, hold on. A man is supposed to do this and I'm supposed to do this. See, they teach you, they teach you one part of it. And the transferable information right. needs to come from both sides. So it's cool that he teaches you, oh, make sure a man does this, does this for you. Don't tolerate that. Don't tolerate this. But if he's teaching you on how to be a wife, in that period of time, right. he's going to tell you, hey, if, if a man is supposed to teach you things, a man is supposed to have some, a plan, right. have order, and see, those are the conversations that's missing, right? right? Those are conversations are missing exactly. with daughters, and then they get into the world, and they get to act in a way because they pick wrong. And that happens a lot in our community. A lot of times exactly. in other communities, they're teaching their daughters how to be wives because those moms and dad, right. for one, they model in the behavior of what a traditional family is. And when they model that behavior... The kids see it, and then when moms talk to them, they saying, "Hey, you know, daughter, make sure you carry yourself like this. Make sure you communicate like that. Make sure you take care of these things in the household." And then when a father communicates, he's going to he's going to tell you the same thing and say, "Hey, there's going to be men, and there's going to be times they're going to talk to you a little crazy, but they're not going to be disrespectful. They're saying things out of love, and they're trying to protect you from what's, what may happen. Right. If they tell you to come home." By one thirty, you think they're just trying to control you, or they're trying to protect you from the world and the negative pl- negative things that go on in this right. world, right? So that is a lot right. of times what happened. But I, I'm so happy you're getting something from all of us, and I'm glad you're hearing this. But men need to have a plan. Don't don't tolerate no man without no plan. Don't 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 give them no time of day. Like treat them like straight garbage. And what I mean right. by that is, is that a lot of men are lazy. <laughs> A lot of men are lazy. The resources right. are there for them to learn. 
there there are men that can reach out to other men. There are men that can read books. There are men that can get coaching. There are men that can get counseling. There are men that can get closer to men, but they don't do that. They're they're lazy. Right. So I don't want to hear that. Oh, I don't have no father and all that. I know a lot of men without fathers, and they're straight men. They they use their resources in order to invest in themselves. Right. You know what I mean? So don't allow these men well, to tell you, oh, no father, you know. Nah, don't use that as an excuse. What, what was you All saying? Right. <laughs> and that's the last sorry. The last thing I'll say before I go, I just, you know, that's another point of appreciation for me, like with the things that especially you're, you know, you're saying now too, because I do have a son who's nine, mm. um, you know, and I don't want to speak poorly, but it that's something, it's a resource for me too, because even though like I'm not a man, I can at least be a better messenger for a lot of 100%. things. And then it also helps on the way that I sort of interact with him and recognize like things that I wouldn't have thought before would have a more detrimental effect just because I'm a woman is my natural instinct, yeah. you know, to respond or a certain way. Like it helps me recognize like, okay, even though my like feeling inclination is to go this way, like with a lot of the stuff that you guys lay out and break down about the way, you know, men are cultivated and, and internally and things like that, it makes me recognize, like, okay, I actually need to not be a different person, but just respond to certain things differently to help guide it in the right way That's right. instead of, like, messing it all up worse. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because oh, there's some lacking there as far as, like, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that, I mean, that's for me, like, that's honestly, that's a huge part of what I get out of watching mm-hmm. y'all is, like, help mm-hmm. me to really understand better, like, my role in that, you know, as a mother. <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> so and it's, like, a, and it's okay. So, yeah, well, and we're not just here for men. And we're not just here for men. And I always say this, too. I coach women. I coach women and I coach, I mean, I, this is what I do. I, I mean, from, from parenting and everything, like. I got kids. I I know what it is. Like, right. you know, the best thing the best thing for for women to do that don't have fathers is get get a hold of resources from men. You know, it's it's, it's it is right. it is apparent. And, and what I'm telling you, and when I'm reason why I'm saying this is because even a lot of fathers they they don't have the wisdom to tell their kids. Like you you could this is how you can say as right. a good father. Now you got hip hop playing in the car, MF this, MF that, and you see kids in the back seat, X him off. You get what I'm saying? Like you, you, you gotta have a right. certain level of discipline as a man to understand what you want in your kids and what you want out of your kids. Right. There's a certain level of respect. You right. feel me? Yeah, because that's. I mean, again, yep. And the discipline and direction again. That's kind of why I called up because that's that. Those were huge when I came to realize like that's what I needed to look for in a man. A man that was already functioning with a high level of discipline and a high level of direction and able to teach me things. Yeah. Then it all sort of has changed in the last couple of years of me being able to, like, attach myself to someone and try to, you know, cultivate that situation. And it's just completely the opposite of everything before, because now I understand that. Like, before, as a younger woman, it was like... I did, I've never been the type to be like, I don't need a man at all. Like, I've always uh, wanted and been very non shameful about wanting a man. But yeah, they tearing your brain like, up, though. There's a lot of women that's bad for the brain. <laughs> There's a lot of women that's bad but, for the know, brain. I would, I you know what I mean? Attached to men that weren't. You gotta stop. Again, I'm sorry. I said there's a lot of women bad for the brand that just messes a whole group of women up. But I, I, I tell you right now, I definitely understand right. what you're saying. Hey, I, it's always my pleasure to talk to you know my callers. I got I got several other callers here, so I'm gonna have to let you go. But like like I oh, said, yeah, keep, I'm sorry. Okay. No, no, no. It's, you, look, look. I said I love to speak to my peoples because this is where we learn. This is where we teach, and this is why I try to do a little bit in the beginning, and then I try to get some calls now. But I appreciate you calling in, and like I said, Mitch1950.com. I got an email in there too. If you got any questions, I'm here for you. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you. No, thank you. All right, we got another caller here. All right, we got uh, 734, 734. This is 1950. Who am I speaking with? Yep. Yo, what's up, 1950? This is James. What's going on, man? How you doing? Hello? Yeah, how you doing, man? Oh, what's up, man? What's up? I'm good. How about, I'm good. How about you? I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm good. What do you got to add to the show, brother? It's good. It's good. Oh, I just want to say, man, I appreciate you uh, doing this topic and all the other topics you do. 
because you know I'm I'm kind of like a unique caller because I didn't call in. You know, a lot of people come in because they they didn't have a father or whatever. But you know, I I listen to you a lot because a lot of things you say remind me of things my father told me when mm. I was younger. Gee. So mm-hmm. one of the things that I realized is like uh, you know, in the times we have now, it's like everybody feels so safe, but we got a lot of stuff to complain about. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of the stuff we complain about you can only complain about in a society where everybody feels safe and their feelings and all the type of shit. And you in Cali, right? Yeah, of course. What's, what's hey, up? man, what's up north? We up north, yeah, man. Yeah, so it's like... Yeah, go ahead, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I know it's, it, you know, uh, certain political agendas being pushed by y'all, like governor and all that. Oh, yeah. And it's like, it's surprising that. to me that it's like people people not waking up to see that we run out of time to to to... to to listen to stuff like this because, you know, as gas prices go up, as the economy gets uh, mm-hmm. worse, you know, crime is going to go up. So, you know, a lot of women live alone. A lot of men don't know how to handle themselves in a physical conversation. So you're going to either, it's like, when think when shit gets real bad, the cops can only come so soon. Mm-hmm. And it's only going to be a certain amount of things you can do outside of yourself. So, you know, this is a real important topic that you're talking about in all your topics, but this is for sure because, like, as things get worse, man, it's like, Every day is, is, is something worth adding to like the way the state of the uh, society. I agree. So it's gonna get pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. So man, man, hey, man. I, so, I, man, I, 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 I meet my, a lot of chicks. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was just gonna say I meet a lot of chicks that's like you know on a different political side, or whatever. Because you know what, some a lot of them be into you know into the brothers a lot, but they uh, I always you know sometimes I even if I'm seeing a girl long term, I. I Tell a certain thing because it's like they have no awareness of like they call you if they need if they need something. If you dating them, they call you in the middle of nowhere. But it's like why you you know you gotta show them how to, to have situational awareness and stuff like that. Like it's, it's surprising to me that a lot of men don't raise their daughters to like know what danger is and where it is and stuff like that. So that's another comment I had. Yeah, I mean they don't do that. A lot of men just teach their their uh, their daughters to change tires and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean like yeah. like come on man like, <laughs> like we we need these women we need these women to be taught to be wives man teach your daughter to be wives man like 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 we can't right. we gotta hold men accountable for that too I'm all over my homies man mm-hmm. I'm all over my homies man i I don't allow them right. to, man we out here man we we gotta do what we gotta do man but hey, I got some other callers man i gotta I gotta let you go I do appreciate you calling in. Uh, keep right, supporting bro. the show. Do me a favor, man. Push the right. like button, and then when you when this stream is over, man, go in here and uh, comment, please. That'd be great. All right, I got. You. I appreciate you, brother. You have a good one, man. All right, we got seven oh seven seven oh seven. It's nineteen fifty. What's up, Mister Nineteen Fifty? This is uh, Tony coming in from Cali. Right, what's going and on, man? As a what young part man, of, what part of Cali say, you I'm, in, man? What's up, man? What part of Cali you in? Uh, Fairfield. Fairfield. All right, you down the street. Okay. Fairfield, California. All right. Yeah, you down the street. Y'all yeah. know where it's at. So, yeah. um, so basically, this topic is big because it's like it's a different part of the game that you need. Like mm. this is situations where you need to be ready to get down. Yeah, it's common, especially in my young. Like since I've moved out, I'm doing things on my own. It happens not often, but it's like let's say. It ha- it's happening to me. You get in a fender bender. You got to be ready to get your keys up in your pocket so they don't yeah. fall out because what the dude wants to run off, you got to you gotta put hands down. Someone someone is like, they never got their ass beat before. They want to fucking be disrespectful. You might have to be ready or maybe when I get older, I have to have a concealed carry because I have a family. So it's like, these are situations that you don't speak about when you're around weak men. That's, yeah. But that's why sometimes I need a you said something about like people talking about the Drake album, this and that. I don't, I don't participate in that gossip. So sometimes yeah. I need to exit that conversation. But when I'm around my boys, they might be older than me because they're actually talking about, oh, one time I had to be careful because some dude pulled a gun on me. Or one yeah. time, mm-hmm. uh, I I need to be focused on my business. We're talking about some man shit. Yeah, we have fun, but we also talk about some. Okay, what are you doing? Are you in college? Like. Hey, come on, bro. You got to step up. Like, you're yeah. not doing shit right now. We'll check each other like that. Mm-hmm. Or come on, bro. Why you let that happen? So that's what the conversations are different. We we talk about stuff like this with strong men, young yeah. men. 
But when you're on week, man, sometimes it's about Drake and it's about Steph Curry. About, yeah, about the NFL and Steph Curry. Yeah, right. It's 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 and, and, and there's nothing wrong with, with small talk. That's called small talk, right? There's nothing wrong with small talk. Yeah. But but if you're around men that's not teaching you anything, holding you accountable, or making you stronger, or they can or you can benefit from them. If they have no value, I wouldn't be around I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest you be around them. You know, I teach my sons that like like if they have something of a value to you, then you can be around them. But if there's no value, if it's more detrimental, if they're not on the same thinking pattern as you, you know, I'm not saying to end your friendship. What I'm saying is it's this limited to a point where if they if they hang out and you you cool with them, hey, every now and then go hang out, be cool with them. But bro, we you can't you're not gonna ever grow as a man if you're around people that don't reflect you. You get what I'm saying? Like mm. being a strong man is very important. Like I love sports. You see all type of hats I got on. I'm a 49er diehard fan. Love the Sixers. Love the San Francisco Giants. Uh, uh, love USC the Trojans. Uh, you know I, I got love for. Look, I watch golf. I I can go in I, video games. Y'all see the PS4 in the back when I when I get out. I mean PS5. Y'all y'all see in the back. Like this is the stuff I do for a hobby. I smoke cigars for. A hobby. I like I do things that I know that I enjoy. But about ninety five percent of the time, and I'm on this man shit, bro. Like this is very important. Yeah. This brand of of manhood. You get what I'm saying? So we got to cherish this. Yeah. We 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 got to protect the brand, and I really appreciate young man you calling in, calling anytime, Mister nineteen fifty dot com if you ever need some coaching, or you can email me with questions, man. I respond to those. It takes me a little bit of time, but because I get so many, but I, I I do my best to try to respond. But at the end of the day, man, just keep watching the shows, keep supporting the shows, and I really do appreciate it, man. You got any other questions before we get about here? Nah, man, that was, I just want to chime in, man. I appreciate you. Have nah, I appreciate you, man. You keep 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 riding along with this man shit. I hear it in your voice, man. You got it down, man. I appreciate you. Yeah. All right, man. All right, we got another caller here. Um, it's 520. It's 1950, man. Who am I speaking with? Uh, can you hear me? I can hear you. You're on air. You're on live. Um, I had a, a quick question. Okay, what's your question? Um, it's kind of off topic. Okay, that's fine. But uh, I'm 19 years old, and um, I was trying to, like, see how you can find, like, what to do in, in life, I guess. And y'all know it's like, a vague question. Mm -hmm. But, like, I'm kind of lost, and I've already uh, talked about it before, how, like, you run a business, and, mm -hmm. and you're doing well for yourself. So really well, really well, yeah. I want to know, like, how to find the, the industry to go into or like how to find like your okay. path because I don't I don't want to be in my late 20s and, and not yeah. know what to do you know I want to like get on right yeah. now but I just yeah. I just don't know where to start with, uh -huh. well I'm, I'm glad you called in let me let me give you some game all right so I'm not going to tell you where to go but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you some game on how to search for what you want in order to get it all right so you're 19 yeah. years old do you currently work yeah you have, uh -huh. a, you have a job you work in 19 Nah, uh, I'm actually applying right now. I might get accepted, but I'm like in uh, searching for jobs right now. Okay. Well, let's start with a job first, right? You got to get a job. I don't give a damn if it's McDonald's. I don't care if it's at Walmart. See, the thing is, is I want people to understand: there's no when when you don't have when you don't have a job, that's shame. Working a job is never shameful. Uh huh. So I don't care if you got look, you're young, yeah. you're 19. Let's start by making you some money. I'm gonna get into what you need to do though, right? But what you need to do is you need to maximize your 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 earning power. You need to work two jobs. Do you uh -huh. live? Do you live with your parents right now? Yeah, I live with my my mom and my stepdad. Good. You stay there as long as you can. You stack, you stack as much money as you possibly can. Listen to me now, okay? You work two jobs. You when you get your your, your original job, you get your first job at Walmart, Games. I don't give a damn where it's at. You get another job. And you work that second job on different hours to make the most money you can and you stack every single dime that you have. Now listen to me. When you start a business, 
You want to start a business with no overhead. Overhead means, and I want you to remember this. I want you to keep this episode. No overhead means you don't have to pay for a building. You don't have to pay rent in it. You don't have to pay phone bill. You don't even need to pay an employee. No overhead. Now, I opened up a security company, right? I have a security company. Very, very, very yeah. successful security company. What I'm saying to you is I don't have to pay monthly on a building. I don't have to pay monthly on two Mustangs. What I pay now is workman comp because I got several employees. But what I'm saying to you is if let's just say you started a security company. Let's just say just for, for example. For example, you start a security mm-hmm. company. Security security guards make, you know, about what? 18 bucks an hour, right? 18 with a with an yeah. arm with an arm security you probably make about 20 bucks an hour 21 22 well the owner like me makes 64 bucks an hour so when you're working the swing shift i'm making about 40 bucks on top of you making 20 every hour that you work so i make money in my sleep so do you see how yeah. you see how I don't have an overhead, but I'm making money. So like for you, for example, uh-huh. no overhead, no building. Think of a business that you can do that you don't need a building, that you that, that people is always going to be in demand for it. Just like food industry, right? Let's say you start stacking your money. Yeah. You start stacking your money. You bought a food truck. You don't need a, You don't need a cook. You hire a cook. All they got to do is come in here and cook. You buy the products, you get the permits, you take 70%, you give him, you give them the rest. And what I'm saying to you is this is how you, this is how business is made. This is how you make money. So I'm giving you the game on that. If you want more, like I said, mission1950.com, and you can email me. Yeah. And I'll respond back to you, young man. I'm here for you guys. More than anybody else, I'm here for you guys. I'm here for the young people. And I'm, I'm here for the for the older men too. Don't get it twitter, but I really want you guys to understand that you guys got resources. You just gotta use them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We're resources. Yeah. I know you hear me on yeah. Sundays, and I go ape shit. Well, I go ape shit on motherfuckers that's doing stupid shit. So if you do stupid shit, I'm gonna get on you. Mm-hmm. But it's all love, man. It's all love. I, what I'm trying to do yeah. is have men understand and women understand. That you have resources. You're not backed into a corner. We're here for you. So just understand, I'm Mr. 1950. I'm not 1950.com, and I can help you out, okay? Okay. What's your hey, other question? Any other question? Really yeah, any yeah. other questions, man? Nah, that's it. Okay. Nah, that's it. I just had a question about that. Okay. All good, man. All good. Um, I'm going to let you go now. Um, after the show, make sure you go back in the stream and Put a comment in there and like the show. I appreciate that, all right? Thank you. I appreciate it. No problem, man. All right, hey, you guys call in 563-999-3709. You guys go ahead and give me a call. Again, I'm like I said, like I just told the young man, I'm here. I'm here, all right? 50 is here. <laughs> 50 is here. You know what I mean? Like this is what we do. Uh, I'm here, and 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 I want y'all to understand that we we <laughs> we have an obligation. I want to put this up here again. We have an obligation to each other. We got to help each other. We got to do things to help each other. Bottom line. If you if if you can't help people, if you're one of those and you can't help people, I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't want nothing to do with you. We 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 gotta do we we gotta do everything in our power, everything, in order to help each other. We gotta help each other. A lot of people come in this space. All they want to do is complain about women, what women not doing, what women this and women that. But if you notice, they never talk about the man. 
They tell men not to get married. They tell men, you know, not to trust women. If you don't trust the woman you're with, you actually don't trust yourself. I'm going to say that again. If you don't trust the woman you're with, you don't trust yourself. You put her in that position to be in that position. You got to be a man of of character. You got to be an honorable man. You got to vet women appropriately. You got to know the game. You got to know the game. Here's a question here. I know what we got here. Uh, It says, uh, why do I, he says, why do you think so many males give the reins to women to control? Because women are, I mean, because men are lazy. There's a lot of weak men out here. They're lazy. And then they're enamored by the woman. So when you're a real man, you have dick discipline. a, A nice looking woman, you get a nice looking woman all the time. So you don't have the thirst that they have. And then they don't live by principles, morals, and standards. They don't have those. So when you don't know yourself, then you allow a woman or a man or anybody to take advantage of you. You're a doormat. Most of these males are doormats. Most of them. They, don't, they have no idea what life is like. They have, they have no idea that as a man, this is what you're supposed to do. I, got, I told one of my clients, right? I said, you got a woman, but protect her. Don't let your woman go to this gas station in the mid, middle of the week. You pump her gas on Sunday. This is your wife. You pump her gas, fill her car up on Sunday. She ain't got to get out the car. She ain't got to go and be around these drug addicts. She ain't got to go get her hands all filthy. No, no, no. Take care of your woman. I'm the guy on YouTube saying that. But ain't no, ain't no bitch about me. This woman is in your life. If this woman's in your life and she's on your program, she's doing what you what she needs to do, why wouldn't you why wouldn't you treat her good? Why wouldn't you treat her good? I don't, I, I just don't understand. It's a lot of people, man. It's a lot of poison on this on this on this red button. It's a lot of poison on this red button, I tell you, man. We gotta get better. Calling lines is open. 563-999-3709. I appreciate you moderators for putting it in the chat. Um I'm gonna get up out of here in about another uh about another ten minutes. If you guys wanna call in, don't wait to the last minute. Um, you know, and then we're going to get it going, get the likes up, share my video, share my video. I, I, I'm man. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get subs like crazy, which is great, but I really want to get the message out Go ahead and send it out to somebody that it may help. I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm a straight silverback, so I'm going to be yelling. I don't stay on for three or four hours like some people because if y'all don't notice man i'm yelling and shit i'm into it it's like it's like going to see michael jackson at the summit of the concert man you, you know you're gonna get every, 90 seconds you're get everything up you don't get everything you can out of that and hey, i'm gonna close these i'm gonna close these call lines i'm gonna close these call lines uh yeah so but anyways uh, let me see here. Call lines are closed. I'm about to prepare myself to get up out of here. Uh, if you got a question, put it in the chat. I'll answer it that way. Um, I, I, I wanted to say to y'all again, I appreciate, I got a lot, a lot of loyal people to 50. Um, I was kind of talked into coming on YouTube. I've been talking my shit for many years. But, um, I used to help people behind the scene for many years. But I get enjoyment from helping people that it's across the country, near me, across the country. But I get satisfaction from helping others. You know, this is kind of a hobby of mine. This is not a, like a career thing for me. And, um, you know, just direction. 
direction for, for men and direction for women um, is very important. So many people that come to this space and just want to just be disrespectful. Just want to just tear everything up. You know, they want to debunk, you know, things that's been going on forever. Tradition is here to stay. I'm the last traditional man on the planet. That's what I call myself. I got this cookbook coming out, and I think it is going to go crazy. Um, I'm going to have reservations for it soon. I'm very excited about this project. It's probably one of many. Then I'm going to have my uh, regular written book um, that's coming out, What Happened to the Old School Man. Um, That's coming out, too. That's going to come out after that. But what I want to say is, you know, I'm out here, man. I'm I'm here. I'm here. And and what I mean by that is, man, I, I'm coming hard. Like I'm every week, every every week, y'all gonna hear from me. Every week, I got a nice video that's coming out later. Um, I want you guys to watch out for. It's coming out uh, later today. Um, it's a non-lethal weapon that all men need to have. Man, I'm covering everything. Politics, it's part of manhood. How to protect yourself, how to protect your home. Um, the traditional lifestyle, you know, talking to women, being around women, you know, all these things. I cover it all. I'm a full man out here. I'm a full man. I cover everything. Business, investments, I cover everything. <laughs> like, legitly. I cover everything. Smooth, too. I'm smooth than a motherfucker out here, man. <laughs> I'm smooth than a motherfucker out here. I got all on my tongue. I talk slick. I've been doing that since I was a baby. You know what I mean? I got to get out because I've been that guy. I've always been that guy. And when you've been that guy, this is what you do. You, this is how you get out. This is how you get out. Yeah, I appreciate that. Black Latina, (laughs) I appreciate that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I I like how you said space. Space, as if, you know, you got multiple cookbooks. That's good. I think all women need to know how to cook certain things. I'm going to have a show on that. I'm just trying to prepare it. It takes time. I don't just pop on and just go. I don't do that. Unless I'm on the panel with the fellas, then I can just go. But normally when I do my shows, I try to plan it out a little bit and just kind of have an understanding of what we're supposed to be doing. Um, and, and that's straight up, but that's what it is. Let me see here. 1950. Patreon. Oh, man, I'm glad you asked that, man. I got five video done now. My goal is 10. Um, I'm not going to be this guy who is lazy when I do Patreon. There's a lot of lazy Patreons. You know, guys... They don't really do too much, man. They just try to get money out of people. But I'm gonna do some, and I'm gonna have I'm gonna have one too on mentoring your 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 young man growing up. Like I'm even gonna have a section for like single mothers that need help with their kids. Like I'm that guy. Like what to talk to them about, how to communicate with them, some of the things you should say, and then and then and then when it comes to the women, when when it comes to men and these women. How to set up emergency plans. Man, how how, how to get out with, 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 with a woman in a relationship. How to talk to women. How to present yourself. How to move smoothly. This is what I'm trying to do, and this is what I'm trying to do with, with the Patreon. And also, with joining the channel in a minute, I'm about to get that started, man. I'm, I'm just putting in a lot of work right now. I put in so much work, man. Like, to be honest with you, I know y'all see the show and y'all see the final product. And, and you know what, Unique? I, I would give it to you, man. You asked you ask about that, man. So I, I appreciate that. I'm, I've been on that. It just takes some time. You know what I mean? And I appreciate that, man. As soon as I was out, I'm going to have a Patreon party, boy. I'm telling you right now, it's about to be all over. It's about to be a Patreon party. I'm about to let everybody know we're about to have a function. But at the end of the day, man, I'm just here for y'all, man. Mr1950.com. Y'all go ahead. If you want a session, hey, I'm here, but I'm up front. If you being a bitch, ass, I'm going to tell you. 
If you be a, a, a woman of without character, I'm going to tell you. I'm Mr. 1950. I appreciate you all coming through. Man, I appreciate you all coming through, man. I, this, this, is, this meant a lot to me. It means a lot to me. It means a lot that the, the support. Make sure you guys get these likes up. I must to get up out of here. Ooh, damn, I didn't even know I went two hours in chat. <laughs> I went two damn hours. Hey, I got another. Um, watch out for my my channel later. I got a sh I got a um a video coming out later today. Y'all check me out. I got a movie review I'm working on right now. We boomerang one. So boomerang, we doing? I got some special guests on there.